Thank you. Uh, obviously, you know, not only just put up good numbers in college, but also been able to stick in the league. So, what, how was that like going from someone that put up numbers and then having to make the transition of playing a certain role or fitting a role for a team where you had maybe this total autonomy to score mm -hmm. and then having to play a role, which you have to, you know, if, if you know, to play a, a role for it? Yeah, I mean, I've been playing the game of basketball since I was like five years old. And, you know, when you first start out, you start in a, in a certain role. Um, and sometimes your role changes when you go to different teams. And, you know, you just kind of get used to, you know, you figure out what the team needs of you and then you go from there um, and you try to provide in whatever role that you're placed in, you know. And, um, you know, I'm just happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy for the opportunity that's in front of me and um, looking forward to getting started. Chris was spoke very highly of you from the from the gym. He was like Tracy can, can play. So what's that like to know that the head of the snake in his team mm -hmm. feels that think that highly of you as well? Oh man, it's a great compliment. Um, you know, to be able to earn the respect of your peers, um, especially, you know, a player of his caliber is like, you know, something that you always uh wish to accomplish. So um every day in practice and on the floor, I want to live up to that, you know. So that's what I plan to do. Jason, Mark Peralta, Sun Spanish Radio. Uh, you've been in many places playing basketball. The one that stands out to me is Real Madrid, obviously, because of the Dodgers. But mm -hmm. you playing in Europe, what are you going to bring from that level of play here to the NBA, but especially the Phoenix Suns of the team for the championship this year? Yeah, I mean, I was I was fortunate enough to, like you said, play in a lot of different places um, during my career. But in Real, I learned. Um, so I love professionalism, you know, bringing a, bringing a certain attitude, winning attitude every single day to practice and what it means to compete um, at a high level. Every game, every practice mattered over there. So, like, that's what I plan to, to, to bring, you know, every day here. Quick follow-up. Now, when the culture, obviously, in Spain with Real Madrid, it's more about the soccer team. So mm -hmm. how was the culture different from the soccer team to the basketball team? Um, to be honest, I'm not sure because all I did was the basketball team, but, um, we did like eat together at times, um, with the soccer team. So we all shared the same facility, um, you know, the training rooms and things like that. We passed like Cristiano Ronaldo and stuff. So that was pretty cool. Are you a follower of the soccer? Um, since like before going to Real, no, but once I got there, like I, I got into it a little bit. St still not, you know, the biggest um, soccer fan, but Did you get by players or just I I saw Bugatti for the first time in the <laughs> <laughs> in the parking lot. And that that was pretty big. So yeah. Uh, just, um, what is, uh, Well, first and foremost, um, I just want to be known as a competitor, you know, somebody who goes out there and plays hard, um, you know, it's been a great teammate. Um, and then somebody who can, you know, knock down shots and, and make the right plays for, for himself or for his teammate, you know. Um, the game of basketball is, is something that I've loved playing for my whole life. And, you know, the guy who put the ball in my hands told me it's a simple game. You know, you just play the right way and, and have fun doing it. So, so I'm going to Oh, my dad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Willie Randall. <laughs> but I got a quick follow. You, you're fully vaccinated. Right? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Chase on Kellen, also on Arizona Sports. Welcome to Phoenix. Uh, you're in a unique situation where the team has an open roster spot, and you're you're the only body essentially that they brought on in on the training camp type deal. How, how are you approaching these next couple of weeks, and knowing that if things go well, you you could earn that spot? Yeah. Um, I'm coming in to compete, you know, every single day, just prove that to my teammates first and foremost, and then, you know, prove it to the coaching staff and, and then the fans as well. Um, I want to earn everybody's respect here. Um, I look at it as a new slate, you know, every year is a new opportunity and um, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. So, Greg Moore, Arizona Republic. Right. Pleased to meet you. You're in a tough situation that you got on the way on. So I imagine you've been through some tough situations in your life, either on the court or off, that you kind of draw from to give you strength and help you get through those moments. 
you have something in your mind that you think of when you think about some adversity you had to overcome to get where you are? Um, yeah, I was undrafted. Yeah. You know, that's number one. Um, you know, every kid wishes to hear his name called draft night, and I didn't hear mine. I thought my career was over, you know, to be honest. I didn't know there would be opportunities to play elsewhere. I didn't know that I'd have a chance to play overseas and even come back to the NBA. So, you know, the fact that um, I persevered through that and um, found my way back here is, is uh, you know, a testament to, you know, I could pat myself on the back for that, you know, so. Dennis got an Arizona Republic. To follow up on a great question, uh, there is this uh, stigma about you know journeyman and uh, the term, and there's you know this uh, oft used term about you know, NBA bombs and such, but I don't believe in because it's hard to get to the NBA. Mm -hmm. But you've taken your talent around the world, so do you look at it as a positive that you've been around, you know, even through a pandemic, and you're playing the game that you've been doing since five years old, and now here in Phoenix, or do you look at it as like this is this is it and improve yourself and coming from being undrafted. Yeah. So I think to, if, I, if I'm understanding your question correctly, like the way I see it is um, I've been blessed, like I said, to, to play the game of basketball all over the world. And I've been blessed to, to win um, in a, at a lot of different levels. Like I won a high school championship, you know, state championship. I won, you know, NIT, two NITs in college and, um, I won uh, overseas. I won two championships. And, you know, I, I just look to continue to play hard and play the game the right way and, um, you know, not think about, you know, where I've been, but think about what I've learned, you know, um, along the way. So, 